Suppose that the position of a particle is given by s equals f of t, which is 5t cubed plus 7t plus 9. Find the velocity at time t. So the rule here is velocity is defined as the first derivative of position. And there's not really much you need to know about how those relationships actually work. Um, you'll learn that in a physics course. Here, we just need to know that rule. So the velocity is the first derivative of position. So the velocity function would be 15t squared plus 7. Find the velocity at t equals 3 seconds. So the velocity after 3 seconds would be 15 times 3 squared plus 7, for which we'll use our calculator here, which is 142. And let's see, it's in seconds. Doesn't seem to give a unit for um, for distance here, so that's fine. I'll just leave it unitless. Find the acceleration at time t. Okay, well, likewise, acceleration is the derivative of velocity, which is effectively the second derivative of position. So that's another fact that you need to make sure you know uh, of the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration. So the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity function, which would be 30t. And the acceleration at 3 seconds would be 30 times 3, or 90. And that could be in meters per second squared, something of that nature. Uh, but I don't see any units given here. So that's a fine answer.